We've been joined by two members of the same team, so as usual I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves. So, first of all... Oh, my name is Anton Smirnov. And how old are you? 13. And how old are you? <laughs> my name is David Smirden and I'm a, an old statesman at 29. Fantastic. So Anton, I believe you're having a fantastic Olympiad so far. Tell us what your score is so far. Yeah, um, I've got seven out of eight um, in the um, score and I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. That sounds good. What board do you play on? Five. You've only just finished. To be honest, you look like you need a good lie down. Um, how long was the game and who did you, who did you play? What was the result? So the game was maybe around four and a half hours and I finished like 10 minutes ago and my opponent was like 2300, just 2300. And, and how did you get on? So I won like with white but I had quite a horrible position. Uh, just tell us what your current rating is, your live rating, because it's you're 13 and your live rating is what? Um, my live rating is 24.9. 2409, that sounds pretty good. Dave, Anton sounds like he's one of the most promising juniors to come out of Australia. Well, since you. I, I'm almost flattered that you would compare me to him, actually. I mean, it's very difficult for an Australian to to uh, continue after the junior ranks, uh, well, even, even to the age of 13, because you know, we're a bit isolated, it's difficult to play Grandmaster tournaments. Um, when I was sort of growing up, we only had two Grandmasters in Australia, and even now we only have four, and, and I, I'm sort of one of them, but I've moved to Europe. Uh, but, but Anton puts a lot of work into his chest, he's got a good trainer and he plays with a very mature style. It, it pains me to admit because he can also be a little bit annoying from time to time. We have a lot of jokes with each other, but no, he's, he's incredibly talented. And actually there was a, it was a difficult selection decision this year because he's not, he's not the fifth highest rated player in Australia. Um, but the selectors put him in, uh, seeing his talent and it was interested to see how he was going to go and he's, well, he's definitely impressed, he's the star of the team. So Anton, who's your trainer in Australia? Um, like I have a trainer who lives in Moscow and he's like a Russian trainer. Like I can speak Russian. His name is Vladimir Belov and we're trained by Skype. Uh, Vladimir Belov. Uh, sorry, where does he live? In Moscow. In, Mo in Moscow. This is the way it goes. Skype is a great thing. So, so do, do you think he's really helped you? How often do you, do you chat with him on Skype? Um, like, I think he has helped me a lot and I Skype with him around twice a week. So, uh, okay, you say you speak Russian, so were you born in Russia? Did you grow up in Russia? Uh, where, where were you born and where do you live? That's my usual question. So I was born in Canberra and I live in Sydney and my parents are like, from Russia, so I can speak Russian from them. Right, so you're born and, born and bred Aussie, but Dave, you said, you know, obviously distance is a bit of a problem if you're going to try to be a chess player in Australia, but you now live in... In Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, yeah. But I, I didn't move there for, for chess reasons. I'm a, a poultry 2500 grandmaster, so I don't make my living from, from chess. I'm, uh, I was working for the Australian government in Canberra, where Anselm was born, uh, but now I'm doing a PhD at the University of Amsterdam. But anyway, it sounds like Australian chess is on the up. Um, I wish you both well. Um, well. So, what's coming next for you? I mean, what, what's, uh, what's going to be your next tournament after this? Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, Australian Championship maybe? Okay, I'll play in the Australian like, Open, like, but I don't know any tournament between here and the Australian Open. Thanks very much.